Well, crews are in the midst of removing now a major portion of the north section of what for generations was known as the Robert Moses Parkway in Niagara Falls. It's part of a $36 million project to remove that stretch of the parkway entirely. Dave McKinley reports from Niagara Falls on the urgency to get the work done in time so it doesn't interfere with the lifeblood of the falls economy. The major construction season is still several weeks away, but for several weeks they've been going great guns on this big project in Niagara Falls. It'll see the removal of the northern section of what for 50 years has been an expressway along the lip of the Niagara Gorge in the falls to be replaced by parkland with woods and walking trails. The biggest thing going on right now is demolition of the flyover where the parkway spans the international border crossing at the Whirlpool Bridge. In less than two weeks, the work here will cause the Whirlpool Bridge to be closed to vehicular traffic for more than a month. There's an urgency to get it done, which may not exist on other big ticket construction projects elsewhere. And the hope is to get the heavy demolition work done uh, before the tourists start arriving in May. And for the very same reason, work actually began over the winter on the reconstruction of 3rd Street and Whirlpool Streets, which will now become major pathways for tourists with the northern section of the parkway closed. The third phase of the project, which is the actual removal of whatever remains of the former Robert Moses Parkway, is probably not going to occur until the year 2021. In Niagara Falls, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.